at the 2012 Dallas International Film Festival, and I am sitting with director America Young, and she directed it Locked In. America, thank you so much for coming. We're excited to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me here. So you were part of the contest of Girls, 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 where mm -hmm. uh, six directors were given a thousand bucks each, and they had to direct their own films. Right. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that process. How, I'm really interested in how they how they selected you guys. Did you apply? What happened? Well, I, it was a little bit of nepotism on my part because I was also the executive producer of the entire project. There you go. So the nepotism pays off, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so what we did is we granted each filmmaker $1,000 to make a short film. The only requirements that we had is that each film had to be written, directed, shot, produced, and edited by a woman. And the message of the film needed to be whatever feminine strength meant to them. And it could be a myriad of different things. It didn't have to be like, you know, Xena, Warrior, Princess, or anything like that. It could be whatever it meant to them. So um, we just started interviewing, started with the filmmakers that we knew that we already worked with, that we were really inspired by. And that just kind of it became like a brush fire. We were being contacted by um, people that we had never met with before who, de who wanted to be part of the project, which is how people like uh, Beth Grant and Jennifer Lynch came on board, is that just through word of mouth. So we would interview them, we would explain the process to them, and if it's something they were excited about, then we brought them on. That's fantastic. And how long has this idea been in the running? We have been working on this for over two years. Yeah. Um, it's, we basically were curators, is what it, it turned out mm -hmm. to be, because we had to find a bunch of different films and projects. We had to prove the scripts. We, had to, we were on set with them. We helped them pull it all together. Mm -hmm. So it's six short films done over the course of, when it actually started filming, about a year of, of filming. But it took about a year to find the right people. Wow, very interesting. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about Locked In. Locked In is, we tried to have every short film to have a different genre. So Locked In is kind of the thriller horror genre of it. Um, and the story of Locked In is about a film producer who's trying to do um, an experimental film and locks an actor into a house for as long as it takes for her to go crazy. <laughs> How did that turn out for <laughs> pretty you? Pretty simple promise. <laughs> Turned out pretty well. Yeah. Um, and what I like about it is I think that it's an interesting metaphor for what we do when we're trying to be successful in any business. Mm -hmm. um, we will isolate ourselves from human contact. We will not eat well. We will not treat our bodies well. We will not sleep well because our one focus is that goal. And ultimately, hopefully, the film questions, is it worth it? Oh, nice. What did you find through this? I found that it's not worth it. <laughs> I found that human contact is really important <laughs> and treating your body well is really important. So there is, it's just about finding a, a mediation, the moderation between the two. You know, your success and your drive, but also taking care of other parts of yourself. Yeah, absolutely, because I think when you pace yourself, you're going to ultimately get the best results, Yeah. but we don't really see that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think anybody in any business, really, they just think if I'm die hard and I go at it strong, then, you know, I'm going to tackle this and be great. But absolutely. a lot of times, it's actually the latter. It's know? a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. And if you don't pace yourself for a marathon, then you're in trouble. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us, uh, indie filmmakers, how far $1,000 took you guys? Remarkably far, yeah. actually, remarkably far. Each film was allowed to put in additional funds if they wanted, um, but it was out of their own pocket, so that was their only restriction. Um, most of them didn't. Most of them stuck to $1,000, and the quality of the films that we were able to get were amazing, mainly because everyone we involved have been in the industry, the indie world for quite some time, so they were able to call in some serious favors. Mm. So, you know, a lot of them were able to borrow the equipment that they needed or borrow the locations. A lot of the actors were just so excited to be part of this. They They've deferred all their pay. So um, we were able to get really far with just a thousand. I don't think there was a film that spent more than two thousand dollars on their film. And I know it's supposed it's kind of you're not supposed to talk about how much money you spent on your film. Like that's kind of like an unwritten rule. Yeah, but but we're particularly proud of the fact that we are able to be screening in theaters and be getting all this buzz over films that we spent yeah. so little on. Um, I don't know that I would want to do it again. I, I would rather pay people to be involved, <laughs> but I'm still really proud of how it turned out. So long term, I mean, I'm hoping that you all will do this, you know, uh, cycle again and yeah. again. Um, what do you hope for, for the overall project? The overall idea of the project was not to be exclusive to men, but just to encourage and promote women filmmakers. If you mm -hmm. look at how many women are in those top five positions in the industry, it's a, such an embarrassing low amount. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I saw a quote recently where it was 24% um, of Iranian 
Iranian filmmakers are women directors, and I think it was like 10% of Americans were. Wow. So it was it was something that was just shocking. You wouldn't have thought that yeah. that in the United States was supposed to be liberal and and supporting of women would not be. So it's it's so the idea was just to promote women, yeah. and that's what it's been doing, which has been amazing. All of our filmmakers have gone on to do incredible things. We had um, we had an actor win the Oscar this year who was in our wow. movie, which is kind of a big deal, you know. Um, yeah. And Beth Grant, this was her directorial debut. Jennifer Lynch is now signed on to direct two more features and been directing a lot of television. Mm -hmm. Shauna Sawson um, just directed a movie uh, starring Anna Paquin mm -hmm. um, and is signed on for another movie. So all of our filmmakers are doing really well. Um, so that's our goal and that's what we hope to continue to do. Oh my goodness. Any surprises? Anything that you just took a step back and said, I really didn't see that one coming, but actually I'm really glad it did. The energy on sets were different. It was definitely mm. a different uh, mentality on set. There was, there seemed to be less of a need to prove yourself um, because majority of the set was women. It was more of an inclusive, more of a supportive environment. Uh, it was definitely more emotional at times, good and bad. Yeah. But um, that was that was something we didn't expect. We didn't expect a completely different vibe on set, mm. which was really cool. Yeah, because each of the premises are, are significantly different. Mm -hmm. um, I think moving forward, what do you hope for filmmak for American filmmakers? You know, how how do you think what's going to get that percentage up higher? I think just stop thinking about it as men and women. Because mm -hmm. that was the other thing that I found surprising about this film is we've screened it at a few festivals and we've always been asked for an encore screening because they've done so well. And women will come up to us and say, oh, I loved it so much. It's one of the first movies that's ever spoken to me. But then I'll have guys come up to me and go, I liked that. Yeah. Like they're surprised. <laughs> So I guess that's the way to make the difference is not to necessarily promote just women, but just to find the best filmmaker, man or woman. And so now at the end of this, I, you know, used to, I only had three guy DPs that I can think of if people wanted to recommend them. And now I can say, oh, here's six DPs, three are women and three are men. Yeah. They're all amazing. That's fantastic. So hopefully that's the difference is if we keep separating it as man, man, woman, I think that'll continue a problem. But if we just stop thinking about it that way, yeah, um, which is idealistic, but let's hope yeah absolutely well we're excited to have you here at the oh, festival thank you so much um first trip to dallas yes yeah what do you yeah. think so far i like it so far it's raining which i'm actually <laughs> really happy about because it's always sunny in los angeles yeah um but i really what i've seen i really liked it that's awesome well we're happy to have you here thank you. and wish you the best and everybody we want you to go see girls 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 great compilation of six different films so stay tuned for that go see it oh do we have a website uh yeah the website is girlsthefilm.com Okay. Um, and please come out because um, we're not actually in the program, as it turns out, and so we want to make sure we get butts in the seats. So we're tonight <laughs> at 10 p.m., and we're Sunday at 4 o'clock, and I don't, Angelica, I think, is where we are tonight. I don't remember where we are on Sunday, but um, it should be on the website, or it will be tweeting about it, which is at Girls the Film. Um, please, please, please come out. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much, and hope you have a great rest of the time at the festival.